this week's Wrestling Open main event is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first in the corner to my right, he is accompanied to ringside by his Miracle Generation tag team partner, Kylon King. He is sponsored tonight by Colonial Pewter, representing the 203, weighing in at 160 pounds, Dustin Flash Waller! His opponent in the corner to my left, wrestling out of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Weighing in tonight at 170 pounds, the bad child, Leo Rush. Once again, thank you to Colonial Pewter for sponsoring Dustin Waller for tonight's main event against Leo Rush. Dustin Waller, a very proud individual. As you see his tag team partner, Kylan King, in the corner. But this is a singles contest here tonight. Leo Rush, the world traveler, just coming back from his progress wrestling debut, competing for New Japan around the new year. Just last year, competing for GCW, PWG, Ramp Pro, MLW, AEW, Defy Wrestling. But right here, as you hear the crowd chant, capacity crowd, one of the biggest crowds that we've ever had here in Worcester, Massachusetts. Leo Rush finds his home here in Worcester, Massachusetts at the White Eagle. Dustin Waller's home for Wrestling Open. And Leo Rush saying, this is your house? This is your house, okay. Well, Dustin Waller saying, let's shake on it. Hope to see a clean fight, big fight feel for tonight's main event. A match months in the making. Leo Rush requested it. Wrestling Open officials obliged, and here we are. And Leo Rush, I think, saying, if this is your house, go ahead and prove it. Something along those lines. As now, Dustin Flash Waller usually has the speed advantage. In my opinion, he does not. He probably does not have the strength advantage either. either. But I'm still going to favor him simply for the home court advantage. It does so many different things that you're not expecting. And Leo Rush looking to take the crowd out of it early. Well, that's what you're gonna have to do. If that's the only advantage that Dustin Waller has, that's what you're gonna figure out how to neutralize. I mean, is it possible that Leo Rush is gonna be able to get the fans on his side? I don't think he cares either way. I think he knows that he has to try to take the crowd out of it. And I think he also has to play some mind games here with Flash Waller and try to use that to his advantage here in the early go. You don't think that Waller would take a cheap shot to get things going, right? I don't. So, I absolutely don't. So right now, I mean, it's, it's all up to Leo. As I just want to feel this energy just like everyone else in the room. It's incredible to be able to bring you matches like this here at Wrestling Open. It just is a testament to the platform that we've built over the last 56 weeks here in Worcester, Massachusetts, as Dustin Waller immediately breaking away from the wrist lock, staring down Leo Rush. As it was three weeks ago that Leo Rush was standing in the Tokyo Dome in Japan competing for New Japan Pro Wrestling, now finds himself here at the White Eagle. So he is not going to be scared of the spotlight. He's not going to be scared of the big events. But the one thing he does have to worry about is if Dustin Waller not uses that speed, not uses that strength, but uses that wherewithal to get around him and hit that big home run shot. Now a feeling out process here. 
And Dustin Flashwaller is going to need that in a big, big way. Because the feeling out process, as much as it is overused by broadcasters, especially in combat sports, especially in our great sport, it is so imperative, especially for a younger wrestler like Dustin Flash Waller, to see what the veteran and Leo Rush is going to bring to him. Trading standing wrist locks here. Going back and forth, Leo Rush joining us from the nation's capital. So proud of his family just recently. His family now has three sons. As he and his wife are up here together. I saw their young child, hold on, around here earlier on. So it is a family affair for Leo Rush. But here in Worcester, Massachusetts, it's also a family affair for Dustin Flash Waller. His parents sitting right in front of me at the broadcast booth. Dustin Flash Waller, his family always coming out here to support his endeavors, support his career. So two big family men in the ring, but you can have all the family you want. Dustin Waller has the biggest family of all, the Wrestling Open family, here with him tonight. Off the ropes, Leapfrog rolls through. And another stalemate in the center of the ring. Five minutes have elapsed in the time limit. 15 minutes remain. As the first five minutes went by just like that. In the blink of an eye, five minutes went by. We have 15 minutes still remaining here in our main event. And now maybe Leo Rush a little more willing to give that handshake, but no, went for that cheap shot, which is quite a surprise for me. Tries one of his own. Maybe I was wrong about Flash. Maybe just trying to give back what Leo gave to him first. Now trying to uh, discuss who's going to drop the leg first. Reverse back and forth like a tornado there off the ropes and flash taunting Leo Rush Letting him know that I'm not worried And Leo Rush, I think he was worried or shook I should say for a second, but not for very long Oh, hits a big big drop kick through the ropes holding onto those ropes and bouncing back into the ring and Leo with a little bit of, can you top this? And yes, the bad child can. Of course, Kylon King at ringside, letting Flash Waller know, don't let Leo Rush get into your head here. As look at how much Leo Rush is biding his time. He's more than willing to wait it out. There's a forearm shot. Leo with one of his own. And now asking Flash Waller to give him one right back. Chop across the chest from Flash. Leo not very impressed with that one. Fires up with one of his own and Flash Waller felt that one. He absolutely felt it. But he's gonna push through that pain and give him one right back. How about two? How about a trio? Irish whip reversed. Misdirection. And again, faked him out. Look at that athleticism. Kick to the midsection. Inzagiri in the blink of an eye. Makes the cover. Very smart move there by Leo as well by switching his position, capturing the free arm of Flash so he couldn't get to that bottom rope very quickly. 
But so much has changed from Leo Rush over the years. I remember seeing him in Ring of Honor when he started off. He was so quick, but it was almost like he was too quick for his own good. Getting ahead of himself, and sometimes that would cost him big matches. But he has learned to take his time, let his opponent come to him. And that is what, that is what he has done, excuse me, as I talk too fast. That is what he has done with Dustin Flash Waller. Picks him up. Flash Waller lands on his feet. Spinning back kick. Off the ropes. Caught his foot. Sticks the landing. Flash Waller able to hang on to the apron. Oh, and he handsprings and boots Dustin Flash Waller out into the crowd as the fans at ringside try to fan him off. Get him back into this fight, but he is down. Maybe favoring his eye. Remember, he had that really bad eye injury back at the rest of it. So maybe he is favoring that here in tonight's main event. Leah Rush telling the crowd to move, going to go with some more misdirection here in a different kind of way. He's sneaking up on him. He caught him from behind. Flash Waller had no idea that was coming. And now Leo Rush showing why he is such a great veteran of our sport. And this moment has been building for four months and slowly but surely it is slipping out of the grasp of Flash Waller. But not anymore. Catches the Inzagiri. Spring boards, but lands on the on his feet, excuse me. Favoring that ankle, maybe. But no cut him with a drop kick. Lateral press. Count of two. And now Leo Rush is the one trying to collect his thoughts. Now Leo Rush is the one trying to collect his bearings. And Flash Waller, with a lot less experience than Rush, is the one in control. But can he maintain it against someone who is so good and so quick like Leo Rush here at Wrestling Oval? Snap body slam by Flash. Maybe he's going to go up for the Mamba for that Flash Flash. Taking his time. Will it be too much time? Goes up top. If he can hit it, it's a wrap up Leo Rush. Whether it was on instinct or whether he saw it coming, rolling to the opposite side of the ring. And now Flash Waller has to recollect his thoughts here. Wait, hold on. Almost caught him with the inside cradle. Tries a clothesline. Now firing away with right hands. Chop across the chest. Flash Waller trying to get that home court advantage back on his side. Reversed by Leo. Big clothesline. Off the ropes and a vicious lariat. And Flash Waller, it is written all over his face. He could be out. This is it. But no, still hanging on in this big time main event is Flash Waller against Leo Rush. Rush back to his feet. Rush begging on the youngster, telling him, get back to your feet. Get back up too quick and I'll cut you right down. Flash Waller saying, bring on some more. And Leo Rush is more than happy to do it. Gives him his last rights and like a shotgun blast. Flash Waller is down. Picks him up for the back suplex, no. Finally gets him up, drops him down from 12 to 6. Makes the cover. 
But how many times have we seen it? How many times with his family by his side, whether it's Kylon King, his parents, or the wrestling open family, has Flash come from behind to show that this is his house here at the White Eagle. Leo Rush going up top. Maybe he's gonna go for that frog splash, but no. Leo Rush now looking at Flash Waller rolling to the other side of the ring. And now Leo Rush is the one who has to think of something new. Inside Cradle. Back and forth they go. Neither man can get the advantage. Where's it gonna stop? It almost stopped with a three count for Flash. Super kick to the midsection, excuse me, caught him with a kick to the chin. Up and over, landing on his feet. Quick succession of kicks. Springboards into the clothesline. Leo Rush got caught, but Flash does not have enough energy to go and make the cover. Both men are down. Who is going to get back up first? Who is going to be the one to pick up the win in this huge main event? Use that hashtag. Let us know what you think. As this crowd in Worcester willing Flash Waller to get back up and pull off the upset here tonight. Five minutes remain. Waller's alive. He is alive. He reserved his energy. Maybe this is going to be his one last run toward glory. Picks him up in the fireman's carry. Rush hanging on here. Slips up from behind. Ducks that shot. A flurry of his own. Off the ropes. Misdirection. Caught him in the fireman's carry. Rush out again. Off the ropes. See, it's out with it. Is that it? No. 2.999 infinity. Flash Waller thought he had the win he has been craving for months. But Leo Rush with another idea in mind here at the White Eagle. He's going to pick Leo Rush back up to his feet. And now Flash Waller looking to put away the veteran in the bad child. But Rush hanging on. Rush is hanging on. Fighting it off with those elbows. Might have caught him on the temple there. Waller's rocked. Slips through. Camps up into the cyclone kick. Flash Waller is down. Coming by Leo Rush, he takes down Flash Waller. But just like that Cyclone earlier, he is not going to stop. He puts Flash Waller back in the ring, and could this be the end for Flash here at the White Eagle? It's the spear, he caught all of that. Inside out is Waller, hooks the leg. Waller out at two. And the same count of infinity that Leo Rush kicked out on, Waller gives it right back to him and kicks out at the very last moment. And this has been a match of big moments that have not been enough to put the match away for either competitor. So now, what does Leo Rush, the veteran, do here against Dustin Flashwater? There's a shot from Flash. Two minutes remain in your main event. Another big shot. Back and forth, these two go. 
Fires up for a big shot. Kick to the midsection, caught, and there's a slap to the face. And I think that just woke Dustin Waller up. Ducks a shot. Into the fireman's carry. Super kick connected on the jaw. Hand spring into the cutter. Shooting star press. This is it. But damn it to hell, Leo Rush gets the shoulder up at two. He's going up. He is going up top. Is this his time? One minute left in your main event. Spanish fly. He got the Spanish fly. Goes up. It's the frog splash. And Leo Rush is your winner in an unreal main event. The time of the fall, 19 minutes, 21 seconds. Here is your winner, the bad child, Leo Rush. You want to talk about landmark main events here at Wrestling Open? That might have been the best that we have ever seen. As Worcester says it for me. What an unbelievable way to cap off an amazing night of action here at Wrestling Open at the White Eagle as Kylon King checks on Dustin Flash Waller. And Leo Rush asking for a microphone here. I wonder what he's going to say. Uh, uh. Uh, hey, 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 hey. You want to know something quite truly amazing? This guy across the ring for me right now is pretty damn good. I want to I want to tell you guys a little backstory. About 4 or 5 months ago, I wrestled with this guy with four other men in the ring. He was up almost for the win until he got KO'd, knocked out, clean. I was pretty afraid, almost, almost too afraid to continue the match and win at my own cause because I wanted to check up on you. I wanted to make sure you were okay. I wanted to make sure that you we're gonna be good to go 100% because I knew since that day, me and you were gonna step foot in this ring one-on-one -on -one, and we were gonna go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And my friend, I couldn't be happier.